Following the 10 a.m. arrest, police took the suspect to an old building in Jalantun Raza on Sunday where the suspect used to live. Two forensic teams combed the building looking for clues. An initial probe revealed that the rear block of the building, which was 50 meters from Jalantun Raza, was where the suspect lived. Police were trying to trace evidence in connection with the abduction and murder of Nurin. Police have cordoned off the area. Later in the afternoon, four children who had been victims of abductors last year and this month were taken to the same location. Police hoped the children would be able to shed some light as to whether the suspect is the wanted man in the photo fit released in connection with Charlini Muhammad Nashar's abduction. Among the children were Noor Fateha, who was abducted just two kilometers from the scene where Charlini was abducted. The other children were from Kampung Baru and Ampang. The families of the children were also present. The children were taken around the scene but said the place was not familiar to them. Maureen Jaslin went missing on August 20th last year when she went to the night market near her house alone. She was a year two pupil of Skola Rendakabangsa Andesa Stapa. Her badly bruised body was found stuffed in a sports bag in Petaling Jaya on September 17th. Jika lah betul lah itu ada suspek yang mengerja melakukan kekejaman terhadap anak saya. Saya harap dia akan menerima hukuman yang setimpal dan tidak akan terlepas daripada mahkamah. Benda ni ke dah terjadi pun kan. Tak boleh nak cakap apa cuma sana nasihatnya kita tabahkan hati kena kuatkan semangat demi anak-anak yang lain. Kena banyak bersabar berdoa kan.